Hey, what's up guys? MGH here and welcome back to another episode of the Portsmouth Road to Glory. We're going to get straight into this episode. As you can see in the table, we're still a little bit of a gap behind Chelsea. And look at the top scorers list as well. We've got a newcomer at top. We have Kane on 15, Costa on 14 and my striker Nacho on 14 as well. But yeah, we're still... We're still quite away from Chelsea and we're nicely four points above City, but I want to extend that as soon as I can. The first game of the episode is up against West Ham away from home. I don't really know how, but West Ham are down in 16th place. They're just above the relegation zone, which to me is absolutely mad. I mean, take a look at their team. They've got some really nice players in there. They've still got Payet. They've got Ben Yedder up front. They've got Kiate Noble in the middle. They've got Congolo in defence, who is an absolute beast in this game. How? Are they down in 16th? It doesn't make sense. In terms of my team, I've had to drop Gray and Chevalier. So we've got uh, Houston and Brown coming in. We'll see if we can get Brown up this right wing. That's a nice ball. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, we're through here. We are through. I'm going to go on the inside. Oh, hang on. Over the top for McNerney. Hits it. Oh, he's gone with his head. I was hoping he would have volleyed that. Oh, good tackle. Loftus-Cheek. We're going to be through now. Surely now we're going to get a goal. Oh, hang on. Congolo's chasing me. Gone to his left foot, onto his right again. I've gone for it anyway, and it's a goal, guys. You do not give Nacho that much space. As soon as Loftus Cheek made that tackle and I found Nacho, I knew I had a chance to score. I still had to do some work, though. I had to get through two defenders, but the pace on Nacho, it's slightly overpowered. He's now going to be top scorer in the league on 15. And hopefully Costa and Kane won't score anytime soon, so we can stay there. Cameron up to McNerney. Good first touch, please. Not bad, you know. He's pulled it inside into Euston. Through for Loftus-Cheek. No, it's gone to Nacho, but Loftus-Cheek's got it now. He's been tackled. Over to Nacho. Oh, my God, it's 2-0. I don't know how the ball ended up there, but it did, and we've made it 2-0. Fantastic play. That pass wasn't intended, but it found Loftus-Cheek after another pass. Look at that. That is so lucky. Congolo's just fell over and literally passed the ball to Nacho. And now he's got 16. Houston over the top for Nacho. He's on a hat-trick, don't forget. I'm going to play it back inside to Houston here. That's a good ball. Congolo's made another mistake in this game. Nacho's through again. Oh, wow. That was so close to his third. Defensively, West Ham have been all over the place. They really have. Cook's won that. Nice little ball inside. Back to Cook again. Go on, finesse that. Oh, go on. Oh, guys, it is 3-0. This is why West Ham are in 16th. They can't defend. I can't remember the last time I dominated a game so much like this. We are just, every attack, looking so dangerous and looking like scoring. And Cook finally gets his third goal in the league. It's been a while. West Ham are starting to play a lot better right now. Come on, ref, blow that whistle. I don't want to concede before half time. Get that one out. No, you're kidding me. No, okay, there you go. Fear is just going to whack this one out. And that should be the end of the first half. No, hang on. Oh, if only I got the ball there with Nacho, I could have passed it on. But there you go, guys. We're winning 3-0. I think we're going to get the three points today. Another corner to deal with here. Brown's going to get that. No. Oh, wow. It was off the line by Cook. Slide in. Yes, Houston. Great tackle. Now over to Brown. Now up to Nacho. Guys, I might be able to get a fourth here. Oh, what a ball that is. Come on, Lewis Cook. Head it back in. It's brilliant. Houston's through. How have I missed that? No freaking way. Another chance is gone. Loftus cheek this time over to Brown surely now we're gonna get the fourth there we go guys that is truly game over as if it wasn't already here's Payet he's gone for it oh no no way Payet is ridiculous in this game he's been doing it all season in real life just an incredible player since half time guys it's been coming they've been playing some really good stuff and uh in fairness, they don't deserve to lose this game 4-1. And that is just such a good goal from Pyatt. Only his third in this season. Yeah, there we go. That's the end of the game. I tried very hard towards the end there to get Nacho his hat-trick. But it wasn't to be. 4-1 is still a very, very good result. A little bit flattering. But hopefully, we've caught up with Chelsea. Maybe they've dropped some points. Two bits of fantastic news. Nacho is, of course, now top scorer. He scored two in that last game, taking him to the top. One clear of Kane. And look at this. Chelsea lost their game. We're now only three points behind them. We're going to keep the same drills. Let's see if we can get some growth here. I'd like Nacho to, uh, to grow to 83 soon. Houston's gone up to 76. And look at Cook. He's gone up to 79. Into our next game. We've got Leicester at home. We've scored in the first four minutes. And Cameron, our left back, got the goal. And we've won 3-1. I want to keep this season going at a nice pace. Leicester are near the bottom of the league. 
I was always going to win this game. Let's have a look at Cook's injury. I really hope it's not bad. Oh, it's not great, guys. Five weeks out. So because Lewis Cook is out injured, I've had to bring in another player into training. And we're going to go with Gray. He's just a smidgen off hitting 80. So hopefully we'll get him there in the next two or three weeks. We're going to do his passing. And look at that, Cameron. Our brand new signing is now 81 rated. But now, guys, back into the Europa League and we are in Russia to take on Zenit. This will be a difficult game. We're without Lewis Cook. So we're going to have Riley on the right at defensive mid. And Houston is actually going to drop back and play a slightly deeper role tonight on the left side. Get a ball in. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Oh, my God. Three minutes in and we've got our away goal already. This pass from McNerney is absolutely world-class. And the header from Gray, I mean, he's directed that perfectly low into the corner. The, the goalkeeper's got no chance. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here we go. They're going to get a cross in. Don't let him cross it. Oh, he's turned me. Come on, Cameron, get back. No. That was almost a penalty. He's gone for it, and it's over the bar. I've got away with that one, guys. That was a good chance for them. Here comes Zenit again. The cross comes in. fiamotzi has got to get that... That striker, I think it's Juba or something. He's just so... He's so tall. He's bloody amazing in the air. But look, I'm on the break. Good touch. Into Nacho. Oh, please. 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 No, I've missed it. If I got a second goal there, I'd be feeling so confident going into the next leg with two away goals. But no. Somehow, I've put it wide. It's his weaker foot. Two minutes added on. Can I get one more chance? That's a lovely pass. Look at that. Chevalier's through here. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. A cross goal. There you go. There's the second away goal. I'm, I'm actually shocked that's gone in. Look at him go. He's just got so much pace. You can't keep up with him. And that finish, I mean, it looks wrong. It doesn't look like that should be going in. The keeper's just completely missed it. And there's half time. It's the perfect time to score. I still need to focus, though. They could still get a goal. Oh, no. I've slid in way too early. Come on, Riley. Make a tackle. No, he's still going. You're kidding me, he's still going. Oh, thank God for that, the shot was crap. I've not got a good feeling about this, guys. Oh, he's got through me. No, no, oh, Bushagli. Well defended. In fact, it's come off the striker. So it's going to be a goal kick. Hang on, hang on, we've still got another chance here. Oh, that is beautiful. Pull it back. No, what am I doing? No. And there we have it, guys. We have beaten Zenit 2-0 away from home. Does this mean I'm ready for the Champions League? If I'm able to beat a really strong team like Zenit away from home, surely I could at least do well in the group stages, maybe even the knockout stages of the uh, the Champions League. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. And now, guys, we are going to the Liberty Stadium to play Swansea. They're actually in seventh place. They've climbed the table recently, so this is still a pretty big game. Let's take a look at their lineup. You can see why they're doing well. IU, Montero, Barini, and Sigurdsson going forward. That's a strong lineup there. My lineup is a little bit weaker today. They were pretty tired after that game against Zenit. So we've got Dembele up front. I've got Oliveira at left back. And uh, Ferreira makes a start. We've got Klosterman playing right back. It's just a slightly different side to normal today. And I'll take that. Thank you very much. Oh, shit. I've just given it straight back. What am I doing? Brown's on the ball again. I've been really impressed with him lately. That's a lovely pass over to McNerney. Over here for Dembele. What a ball that is. No. How... Has that happened? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, hang on. I thought it was offside for a second. I just had a brain fart. <laughs> just for a split second, I thought, nope, it's okay, I'm okay. But no, it does count. Of course it counts. I don't know why that happened. My brain just completely went funny. I just, for a second, thought I wasn't conceding there. But nope, we're 1-0 down against the run of play. Damn. Oh, man, that's the end of the half. This is not going well, guys. I've been playing so well in this episode and the last episode. Just recently, I've been playing well. And today, it's just not happening. I can't seem to uh, to break down this Swansea defence enough to score. Okay, seriously, now I need to focus. Here's Loftus-Cheek. Let's get a ball inside if we can. It's not bad, you know. Rennie Adelaide's held him off. Over here to Brown. He's gone through. That's a penalty. Yes, referee. Thank you. I thought for a second he wasn't going to give it, but he has... And it's our chance to get back in the game, finally. Ferreira has 76 penalties. That's really good. So I'm going to let him take it. It's not quite in the green, but it doesn't matter. 
I've just about got it into that top left corner. Really nice finish. McNerney driving at Swansea's midfield. Here goes Brown again. He's gone on the inside. He's taken them all on. Hang on, look at this. McNerney's through again here. Onto his favoured right foot. Hit it. Oh, what a save by the keeper. Just over five minutes remaining, guys. I'm going to try my best to get another chance out of this game. Oh, hang on. Klosterman's made a run. Oh, if only I got the pass through. And now it's two versus two. I'm in trouble here, guys. Barini is running down this right side. Need to make a challenge. Now, oh, what am I doing? No. Yes, Oliviera, well played. And that is the end of the game. Unfortunately, we've dropped two points away to Swansea, but it could have been worse. I guess we could have lost this game. It wasn't my best performance ever. It's a shame, really, because I have been pretty consistent recently. But there you go, guys. It happens. Hopefully, Chelsea have dropped points again. Otherwise, they're going to extend that lead again. Oh, no. It's back to five points. That was my chance, guys. That was my chance to really close the gap on Chelsea. But I've ruined it with that draw against Swansea. United just played City, by the way, and beat City 1-0. So now they've overtaken City. They've dropped down to four. With eight games remaining, it's looking close. I can still do it. Don't get me wrong. I can still do it. But I've played both my games against Chelsea. I have to rely on them dropping points if I want to win the, win the league. Liverpool, by the way, who were bottom when I asked you guys to, to kind of guess who it is, They've actually moved up to 18th and they're one point from safety. Not very good. But there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like rating. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out the official store to check out my latest gear. And I will see you in the next episode very soon.